presence of mind to go for the level up on the dives. Uh, but not this time through. Instead, Brandini always trying to play. Feels like lane bully champions. Uh, sometimes on the GP, but otherwise you see things like the Jace, the Gnar, and here on the Kennen. Yeah, he's a, a carry-centric player, I would say. It makes yeah. sense on this team especially as well. He and Levi have really been the big power points for the team in a lot of ways. All the Rakara is definitely somewhere where they want to go. Golden Guardians just trying to pick up wins. Echo Fox split their weekend. See if Golden Guardians can do so. Otherwise, they will remain, unfortunately for them, at the bottom of the standings. And this is a uh, interesting game because we have two pretty standard comps. I mean, the really only standout is the cannon top. But like we we're saying, that's becoming more and more meta, it sounds like, from what we're hearing behind the scenes. So uh, maybe the Cho'Gath is actually the most surprising thing, is all everything considered. Yeah, Zig back to Cho'Gath. That's the last pick of the draft. Pretty defensive anyway. So he's going to lose out on that one. The bounty is on the bottom side, though. But maybe Brandini is up for grabs. Yeah, really cheesy path here by Potluck. Looks like it might reap some rewards for them. Brandini, not too tanky on the cannon, but just lightning rushes out to safety. Did skill that, and we'll see if Zig suffers the consequences. Yeah, it should be a bit of a tell that Levi should be on the top side, but Zig could not do anything about it. Got a flash. Going to have to try and get something done with the CC. Ruptures himself does delay the play for a little bit. Now going to try and push the wave out. Yeah, this is not really well coordinated by 100 Thieves Academy. Brandini threw a shuriken in there and drew turret aggro, taking a shot. And uh, with the rupture being thrown out early, Zig was zoning a potential body slam to interrupt it. They're still looking for the play, though. Yep, Zig again trying to keep on the wave. Oh, a TP topside. Who's coming in this it's time? Eyes, baby. It is Linsanity gets knocked up by the rupture. Gonna get rooted down, but the tower shots actually might be enough. Linsanity gets a shield and pops out of the way. And Brandini wow. will grab first blood. Big, big commitment to make that play work, but they find the key. The bounty, so Potluck's good run of luck is going to run out. Sheep. And when your team is doing that, if you continue to play aggressive on the bot side, you're going to feed. So uh, actually very intelligent 500 Thieves bot lane to just take that slight gold deficit. They don't lose too much either. Stunt with a nice knockup does trade some damage onto Sheep. They keep them because the whole point was to nerf it in competitive, so not everyone was taking teleport. But all you've done probably is hurt it in solo queue because it is clearly still valuable in competitive. So I wonder if there needs to be a different kind of change for teleport. Let's find out in the future. Yeah, well, keep I an agree. eye on it. I agree with the sentiment. Looks like more TPs here this time. A Realm Warp back up to the top side. Is it getting dove again? Stories become a little too familiar. CC chain starting, Cannon ult's good, and Linsanity gonna get credit for that one. Yeah, I did land the silence on the one with a tier and try a force would be pretty good. I mean, Rikara, uh, with the Storm Razor, of course. Oh, here we go, bot lane yep. fight. Starting in onto Benji, who does actually get pushed away, flash over the other side of the barrel, but now Sheep is gonna maybe be left to die. Still dies to stunt from the Ignite. So despite, I'll find a team fight. Yeah, no flash available on Sheep. Otherwise, I, I feel pretty confident he would have gone for stunt there. They had the man advantage. The rest of 100 Thieves was still splitting the map. Now they're trying to start the Infernal Drake, but it's going to be too late as the rest of 100 Thieves is starting to collapse. Might get a fight here. Yeah, they've got Cho'Gath. Oh, Stunt already popped the ulti. Looking for the charm. Does actually get Potluck for a little bit, but damage is still not quite there. Sheep in the front side tanking up decently. Potluck diving in. Here he already came forward, but he popped a respite. Here comes Brangini. Finds a three-man ulti as he's looking to stun it all up. He takes down Sheep, but he will fall on the other side as Rakara does actually get a kill on the other side, killing Potluck. So with Levi alive, but with not much health, they may be able to get the Drake, but it's going to be close. Yeah, two for two, surprisingly, for 100 Thieves. Uh, a little disjointed on the fight. Stunt wanted to go in and blow somebody up. Brandini was not there yet, as well as the fact it was disengaged pretty well by Golden Guardians. It means that they're still able to trade back two for two. And that kind of highlights why we've seen a lot more AP Cannon than AD Cannon. That flank there with the AP Cannon, who's 2-0-1, and one, phenomenal. That one... Yeah, it was nice, got some damage. Luckily for 100 Thieves, they still have the priority to maybe get this Drake. Yep, two smited. Oh, Zig wanted to TP in for the face. Double TPs, even with the same ability. AP Cannon very aggressive with Maelstrom. AD Cannon very defensive, actually, with his ulti most of the time. It's it's one of those interactions that I think a lot of people miss about why it is the case, because, hold on here, is Levi getting jumped on? Oh, no. 1v2 forced to flash away. Potluck still chasing. Gonna get smoked, and Sanity flashes in with a stun, stun! Finds two with a knock up there, and that's gonna be a kill on the Potlock Sheep. Probably gonna fall as well. Rakara able to snipe over the wall with the feathers. There we go, Sheep protecting them. Uh, so when you're in AP Cannon, you use your E, you get these resists, you get to use the extra speed as mobility. Uh, Rakara, buddy, stay alive He's for me. He's got ulti. All right, perfect. So you get to use all this stuff, you really don't lose out on any DPS. Oh no! He had ulti. 
I give up on the point. You know what? This one, the full set team fight. Yeah, all five members are here, and this is exactly what Golden Guardians comp wants. Definitely a bit more of the Wombo, where the Alistair goes in with the Ori Ball, and they try and one-shot somebody, but they still have to be careful, because 100 Thieves has plenty of their own engage as well. Yeah, stunt continually hiding in brushes as Brandini on Insanity trying to finish off the Drake, all sneaky-like. Zig blows his Righteous Glory to force them off of it, but now they need to be careful. My battle perhaps there, actually on the other side. Oh. It is Cannon that gets the Drake. They, didn't, they did pick up a kill as well. Benji actually got taken down by Stunt, so he and Rikara teamed up to get that kill. Potluck also dies. That was about as... Much cleaner. Golden Guardians are very split up in their contest. Benji was coming from the mid lane. Zig was already blowing his Righteous Glory at the Infernal Drake. And we talked about how 100 Thieves has plenty of engage on their own. They find Benji dying there. Potluck's now left alone at the Infernal Drake. He goes down as well. No smite left up. They still have the Feast on Zig with Flash available. So if he can get over there in time, he might be able to contest it. He's going to have to blow the TP to get in range. And they might just burn it down in time. Yeah, Bernini also here. So you're going to have to line this one up pretty well. Another TP coming out. Benji going to join as well. Ulti being popped. Keep actually finds one, but Sun going to knock him back up. Pops oh, Zig flashed in. They're going to try and finish. Yep, Zig actually going to try and finish that off on the other side. Sheep gets out of the way. Oh, he does get it. Feast the Baron away. They didn't even get the kill onto Sheep, who did escape as well. Zig now trapped in the pit, probably not going to leave his Brandini. And Whoa, they're, they're too trying far to up. face down the other kills. They do get one, but here's Potluck and now turning it back around. Bobchin going to have to kite out of the way. Good cleanse out of the route, I think, that he was expecting from Linsanity. But Brandini also Houdini'd out of there. You mentioned? Zig does have his TP, so... And he says Benji also with his. Explains why he's been a lot more active than I might uh -oh. expect in the side lane. Face check for Sheep, though. Through the ulti, looks like trying to get the kill. No, don't grab it. Ult's going to miss, though, from Bobshin. Does force out some cooldowns by 100 Thieves, but not the worst trade. Sheep living on a sliver of health there. And Golden Guardian's got a really good potential counter engage there, and Benji probably could have kept running forward. You see how strong he is. The enemy team tunneled on his Alistar and left their flank open for him to go for these chase downs. He's got a QSS as well, so he's playing without fear right now. Almost taking out Brandini. A cannon is not a particularly robust champion. Good patience, Violent Sanity, not getting scared about the <laughs> Cho'Gath charging at him. Just roots him up, combos onto him. But it's leading to an awkward situation as both teams are playing the map horizontally a little bit. Yeah, Sideline's also not in a kind of weird spot here for 100 Thieves. Just they do want to take the inside track pressure. The Golden Guardian should feel pretty free to get pressure on the Baron. In fact, Ooh, I think Port Potluck had started it, but I think he just cleared a ward instead. Blue Trinket going to go over, so they will get a bit of extra vision there. Yeah, they have two more as well, so there's a very low chance that Golden Guardians is able to kind of sneak this one away, but they can potentially force 50-50s or team fights if they want to go a little bit harder on that Baron buff. But oh! Sheep caught, does have his ult again, but he's going to get burnt down! Actually, a trade of supports is Brandini over the top. is trying to assassinate Benji. Does flush the Oriana old Zig also low, going to get taken down by Insanity. Potluck, though, rips through the rest of the team and does take down Brandini, but Bobshin is going to go down. No, he flashes to safety, but Potluck Whoa. is not so lucky. And there's a Romo to finish off the kill. That's going to be the ace for 100 Thieves. Really important for 100 Thieves there to be able to split that fight up onto multiple angles if they're fighting purely front to back the superior uh, front line of zig and the oriana being able to provide shields might have been able to allow them to win that game or that fight excuse me but as a result 100 thieves are able to find the clean ace and 32 minutes in the game the death timers might be long enough for them to end they're going for it five seconds on sheep or so i'm uh, gonna at least go for this nexus turrets right one gonna fall as Sheep roaming back out of the base, trying to keep them out of the way, but the Nexus now exposed. Looks like Rikara is oh. strong enough to try and take it down. Sheep just gets exploded, and 100 Thieves in one team fight take the game. Yeah, I felt like that game was going to go a little bit longer, but a clean ace in the middle of the map in the minion wave behind them allows them to charge up the mid lane, end that game, and 100 Thieves, despite that one, two small hiccups around Baron and Dragon, uh, close that game out pretty cleanly. Yeah, I think looking relatively good. The attention that they paid to the top half of the map, even though Brandini didn't convert super well on his leads, he was a super like pain point for the team to deal with with his pressure. And just the fact that, again, Linsanity, Roaming, and Levi helping out the other strong side of the map, which is, has been the formula for 100 Thieves, it's nice to see them continue it. Yeah, the 1-3-1 looked great for them after they got those leads for both their solo laners. The team fights in 5v5s were still a little bit sketchier than you would have wanted them to be, but they did have a pretty hard team comp to execute on once you got into that situation. Yeah, we'll see a little bit of that here. The game-ending replay, it was a pretty quick one. At least after the end of it, we'll see how GG's just kind of botch that team fight as 100 Thieves do pick up the only ace of this game. Yeah, watch how fast both supports instantly die. And then Benji shifts over the wall and takes a 1v1 with Brandini that he's going to end up losing. And Oriana Shockwave does not come through. If he stayed and tried to fight front to back, 
might have worked out better. Instead, it forces Potluck to go for the cleanup kill, which then puts the 1v1 against him and Rikara. Uh, it might have been okay if they could have won that, but instead, not the case. And then it leaves the Orianna split up on the top side to get chased down by the Rise. They were in a tough spot that could have gone a lot worse for Golden Guardians, but at the end of the day, just